Hi YouTube, in this quick tip tutorial I'm going to show you how to prepare a model in Blender, export it to Substance Painter, apply materials quickly, and bring them back into Blender. Please remember to like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful. So you can see this crate that I made to demonstrate this topic. The first thing I'm going to do is mark all of the seams so I can UV unwrap the object. Here I'm just tracing and marking seams for all of the separate parts. So the metal straps that go around the crate are going to be separated from the lid, the base, and the sides of the crate. Once I have all the seams marked, I can UV unwrap it. And then selecting all of the UV islands, I can assign a material to each part of the crate. Now Substance Painter will see each one of these as a separate um, texture set so we can easily apply materials to where the materials are applied in Blender without having to worry about um, textures crossing over or painting properly. So you can see here with the obnoxious colors how the materials will be separated. Um, one last check on the UV islands and I see that the edges are not square on the UV map so I correct those to be really close to square so that our textures will not be stretched. And once that's done, it's time to export into Substance Painter. So to export, select your object, go to File Export in Blender, make a name for the file, limit to selected objects, and then Object Type, click Mesh. Once you've done that, hit Export, and your FBX file will be set up in the file you created. Then open Substance Painter, and open your new FBX, in substance as a file. So go to File, New, open your um, new object, pick your document resolution, and if you leave Auto Unwrap checked, um, it will use our UV maps that we've already created. So we should be good to go. Just hit OK. Now you can see our object is in Substance Painter, and only part of the UVs is selected. That's because our separate materials came in as separate texture sets. So now I can apply and tweak the materials that are in the file. So I'll add some different kinds of wood to the lid, base, and sides of the crate. And then I'll add a, me a metal texture to the, to the straps that hold the crate together. And I'll tune some of the settings to put a little rust and displacement on. Once you're happy with your texture to export, go to File, Export Textures, select a location to store the materials, and then go to the Output Templates. And for this, we're using Blender, but they have all the programs that you might need in there. Then go to List of Exports, hit Export, and all of these new texture files are saved in the folder you created. So now back in Blender, go to the Shading tab, select your object, and for each material slot, Select the, the principled shader, hit Control, Shift, and T, and then select the materials that match the name of the original material you created, and um, hit o OK or Open, and it'll bring in all of the material maps for that material slot. So you can see each of the materials we made in Substance is now applied, and that's it. So that's the basics of file management for Substance. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful.